When you exercise, how hard should you be working? We try to break it up into three intensity levels, light, moderate, and vigorous. Exercising at the correct intensity can help you get the most out of your workout. Making sure you're not pushing too hard or too little is key. Your exercise intensity generally should be at a moderate or vigorous level for the most benefit. Since exercise intensity varies from person to person, it's hard to set easy, clear rules for everyone. One way to figure out if you're exercising hard enough during aerobic exercise is to check your pulse. A monitor of some sort is the best way to do this. Your heart rate is a good indicator of how hard you're working. And if you're not hitting a certain rate, you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough. To calculate your maximum heart rate, you need to subtract your age from 220. Generally, you want your heart rate to stay between 50 to 70% of its maximum for moderate exercise and 70 to 90 percent for vigorous exercise. This is a great way to track your intensity. However, we don't always have an accurate way to measure our heart rate during exercise. So here are a few other methods we can use as well. Rating of perceived exertion, or RPE. On a scale of 0 to 10, where sitting is a 0 and the highest level activity is a 10, moderate intensity activity is a 5 or 6 on a scale of 1 to 10. Typically, you'll notice shortness of breath at moderate intensity. Vigorous intensity activity is more like a seven or eight. You'll not be able to say more than a few words without pausing to take a breath. If you're doing vigorous intensity exercise, you'll typically be sweaty, cheeks red, heart beating fast, etc. The talk test is another easy way to determine exercise intensity. You want to be at the point where you can't talk clearly during exercise. This is typically referred to as the anaerobic threshold. Studies show that pushing yourself slightly past your comfort zone is useful for improving cardiorespiratory fitness. The CDC recommends children and adolescents should have 60 minutes or one hour or more of moderate to vigorous physical activity every single day. Aerobic exercise at least three days a week, muscle strengthening exercises at least three days a week, and bone strengthening at least three days a week. This could be accomplished by using multiple bouts of exercise throughout the day. Start at a light intensity if you're new to exercising. Gradually build up to a moderate or vigorous intensity slowly. Exercise intensity is very individualized, so what may be hard for you might not be hard for others. So listen to what your body is telling you and back off if needed. Starting too hard, too fast can cause injury, and then you won't be exercising at all. And we don't want that.